IDEX, Ideonomics Inc. And before we get into the charts and before we go into the whole chart analysis, I do want to state some things. The first thing is, if you learn something new, subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, hit the like button and also comment down below other stocks in your stock um, watch list, other stocks that you would like to see a chart analysis on, other stocks that you're that you're interested in, and even topics about this stock. Anything in the news that you saw, anything that stood out to you. I mean, a lot of us are really excited about this stock, um, how it's just rallied up. A lot of bears are excited to see this one start to tear down and take control of shorting it. I mean, everyone's excited right now um, because this one can go both ways. Um, but the bulls, most of all, are the ones that are having a lot of enthusiasm and faith in this one from what I've seen. There's a lot of hype going on with this one, and and that's uh that's some cool stuff to see. And, and I, I love to see um, people excited about a stock, especially with the news that came out on it and uh, the growth potential that it can have. But um, to, to just narrow down everything that I was saying, I appreciate when you guys comment, and that's why I stated that. And, and that's why... Um, I would want us to comment because not only for myself, but for other investors that are looking at the video and also they could see other things, engage in conversation and just point out new ideas or different stocks too that can be analyzed and also other things that I could miss um, when I'm talking about these charts. Um, the other thing as well, share this with your friends, share it with your community, share it with the people you know. Um, tell them to subscribe to my channel. I post daily content and I go off of what people um, request me to put. And also I put stocks that are uh, most um, attractive right now to investors or the ones that are moving in certain directions and just certain stocks that a lot of people sometimes want information on. And, and that's what I'm here for. I plan to make us a community of investors that can engage in conversation with each other respectfully um, through comments and uh, also learn together and also just be able to have certain cues that um, most people don't talk about or most people don't share. Um, and that's what I'm here for, to help you guys. I want you guys to use me as a resource. I don't wanna be your only resource, but I would appreciate you guys to take advantage of this information and all this insight so that you guys can make your own rational decisions the next trading day. That's what, that's what I'm here for. That's what this is all for. And, um, I've been affirmed by many. Um, I'm seeing a lot of great, um, comments and feedback and I'm glad to know that I'm helping you guys save money, um, by entry points or, you know, by the right exit moment. And, and helping you guys make money, vice versa. But what I, what I really enjoy is that all this information, you guys are able to absorb it and then use it to your uh, discretion, right? Um, the next day for making your rational decisions. And obviously I always say, do your due diligence. So yeah, that that's something I did wanna go ahead and go start off the video with and i apologize if i took in too long explaining this but i did want to put that out there so that you guys all know that the opportunity to comment is there the opportunity to continue receiving these um informational videos is there by subscribing and um let's just keep on going and, and i hope that we all continue to make money so let's get into this chart this chart is a bullish run and it started all the way back in the beginning of the month from 38 cents. I mean, if we go all the way back with this stock, uh, this stock was not that bullish. It was a pretty bearish stock. It had its bullish moments. And then here we end up in the future present, um, sort of kind of future from back here in the, in the charts and then the present because this is where we're at slash pass of the beginning of june right but um here we are with this stock having a bullish run it's been running for quite some time 
And the most important thing here is the 50-day moving average. The 50-day moving average is $1.36. Why do you want to pay close attention to it? Because the 50-day moving average is what lets us know if this is in a bullish territory or in a bearish territory. Obviously, right now, it is in a bullish territory. The more this maintains itself above the 50-day moving average, the more in control the bulls are. Key points. I never put sub two support levels, but the support level of this one literally is two cents below the closing price. This closed out at 209. The support level that it's showing is 207. I wouldn't really be too worried if this was to break through the support level because as long as it stays above 136, right? Because this is the 50 day moving average. They have all this window. The bulls have all this window to stock up on stocks and rally this one back up and let the bears get exhausted trying to tear this one down, which that could happen. That's a tactic that the bulls do. They let the bears think they're gaining the upper hand breaking through uh, support levels, and then all of a sudden, the bears are exhausted, and then the bulls come and take over. So 207 is the support level. Also, it could be used by the bulls very early in the day, and they can just rally this one up. So anything can happen. But if it was to be torn and it falls in this area, the next support level I would say to be paying very, very close attention to is 174. Even if this one's broken, and again, I'm telling you guys, the 50-day moving average is still below it. I would pay really close attention to it, though, once it gets to this area, because now we're talking about two resistance levels have been broken, and the next resistance level from that 174 is the 50-day moving average. So that is something to keep a close eye on. Um, as long as it stays above 136, Bulls can rack up and bring this one back up. So I'm not saying it'll stay anywhere down here and that the bears are gaining control, but these are some cues to pay very, very close attention to. And the most important of all, other than the 50-day moving average, is the resistance level. Why? This is the highest point this stock had since almost the last three months. Um, if we go all the way back, this is the highest point. You can go ahead, look at the chart, Go all the way back. This is the highest point this stock has had in the last three months. This is where it got rejected. And this is the most vital and important part right now for the bulls to pay close attention to if they want this one to rally up. Why? Because this resistance level hasn't been broken in months and maybe even longer, right? And if it can't be broken and it got rejected there and it gets close to it again and it gets rejected from there, the bulls are having some trouble with this, you know, level of resistance. The level of resistance ne needs to be broken so that it can be used as a support level so that the bulls rally continues. Until this is not broken, the bulls won't be able to continue the rally. They will be in bullish territory. If they stay above the 136, but for the rally to keep on going, the bulls need to break through this. And that is the resistance level. Once this is broken, I'm not saying that it will stay up here, but it could be used as support and the bullish rally and run can continue. Because the more um, the bulls continue this, you know, the more opportunity um, they have to use this as support and break through new resistance levels. As always, subscribe to this channel if you learn something new. And if there's anything that you also want to go ahead and add and, and state or any other ticker symbols, comment down below. And if you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends, share it with your community. And thank you always for watching my videos and taking the time.